There's this one product that's currently trending on Etsy that can make you tens of thousands of dollars. You've got sellers like these making $40,000 or $50,000 a month selling it. And even brand new sellers are making $8,000, $9,000 per month with this product. Now, everybody's saying that to be successful on Etsy, you got to post hundreds or thousands of products. But in this category, you can just post two to three products and make $8,000 per product, just like this store. And that product is Life Planners. Now, I know that 90% of you hearing this are going to click away. Oh, it's life planners and digital planners i heard this a million times but that's actually great for the rest of you who's gonna stick around because you're gonna be the top 10 percent who's actually gonna make money just like this brand new sellers right here so in this video i'm gonna tell you why i love this category and i'm gonna teach you how to navigate your way into a huge market like this and show you how to find that winning product so you can start making money as early as next month so if you've been thinking on how to make money online, there are many ideas and I'm not sure which one to do. I think this is your chance to take action and actually turn your life around in 2024. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm actually going to give away the actual product. You'll probably have to spend weeks or months creating and I'm going to give it to you completely for free to give you a bit of a head start. So let's get started. So why did I pick this particular niche? One word, timing. Because in business, timing is everything. If you have a killer product, but your timing sucks, you're going to get destroyed. But with good timing, even a mediocre product can turn into a breakout success. So take this for example. Have you ever noticed that Apple always launches their new iPhones in September? Why don't they launch their new phones in February or August? That's because the two biggest seasons in retail are back to school and the Thanksgiving or Christmas holidays. Most schools go into session in September and the holiday shopping season like Black Friday or Christmas would be just around the corner. And it's not just Apple. Most retailers always have their newest products out in time for the biggest shopping season of the year. And as you've heard many times, in real estate, it's all about location, location, and location. But in retail, it's all about timing, timing, and timing. To prove my point, if you look at Google Trends, and search for digital planners, you're gonna notice that there's always a huge spike every year for three months between December and February. Why is that? So we've got two groups of buyers. It's those people who already have existing planners and they wanna update their planners to the following year's version. And the second group of buyers are those who are making New Year's resolutions. I wanna start planning my life. I'm gonna do this and that. And that always happens in the beginning of the year. So that's why you're going to see the biggest demand for these life planners during these three months. And it's the perfect time to find a winning product and enter the market. Now, now speaking of winning products, here's how I would navigate this huge market and find the perfect product to start with. So now I'm going to show you step by step on how I do my research so you can follow along and see my thought process along the way. Now, what do you think about when you hear the word life planner? Well, for me, I would define this as a product that helps people plan their daily life. Maybe planning their fitness routine, budgeting, planning their travels, maybe for students, planning their classes, exams. And now you're going to realize that these are actually sub niches that you can target within a larger category of digital planners. Now let's check Etsy and see what's out there in the real world. All right. When you're searching digital planners, you're going to get 600,000 listings. That's way too broad. And Obviously, we don't want to just create a digital planner because that's way too vague and you're not actually serving any particular audience. But let's see what we've got here. So we've got good notes planners, iPad planners, manifestation planners. Okay, so these are different types of planners that can serve different audiences. So let's pull up Everbee Chrome extension here and let's check out their revenue. Maybe we can find some more clues there. Wow, okay, so $56,000 a month. Let's scroll down and one thing that I like to keep an eye on is actually the listing age right here because because on Etsy, recency is key. That's why I like using a tool like Everbee here so I can see the recency of each listing. So I want to find listings that are doing well, but also created maybe just a couple of months ago. All right. So this one is Omnic Designs, $14,000 a month and created three months ago. Perfect. So let's click on this and let's see what this is about. All right. So it looks like a good notes planner and it says ADHD planner. Okay, so what's an ADHD planner? Let's Google it. So an ADHD planner is tailored to improve time management and organization for individuals with ADHD. Its specialized layout and features help tackle common ADHD challenges by breaking down tasks into smaller manageable steps and providing visual structure to daily routines. 
Okay, great. So it's a planner that's designed for people with ADHD or attention deficit disorder. So let's go back to Etsy and now let's search for ADHD digital planners. Okay, wow. So we've got much less competition, 62,000 results. So we just went from 600,000 to 62,000. So that's a good sign. We just found a new potential sub niche. But let's go a step further. So let's pull up Everbee again and do the same exercise. Let's see here. So Notion template ADHD planner. So let's see what this is about. All right, so you can see here that this listing is relatively new as well. Just created five months ago and already pulling in $4,000 a month, which is very good. So let's pull up the store. And if you see here, they are apparently selling a Notion digital planner. And for those of you who aren't familiar, Notion is a note-taking app, just like Evernote or the default Apple Notes app. And it's actually the perfect platform for building planners. So, cause you can build budgeting trackers, travel planners, or to-do lists. You can even track your classes or exams if you're a student. In fact, I'm actually using it myself to plan all my YouTube videos, including this one right here. So as you can see here, in just a few minutes, I just went from digital planner, ADHD, then Notion. And if you look in Everbee and sum it all up, the store is easily making $12,000, $13,000 every month from selling these templates with 90% plus margins. And if you can target a specific audience, you'll have less competition and more chances to succeed. So that's how you find a smaller niche and enter the market with less competition, but enough demand to start making money. So you can start by selling a Notion ADHD Life Planner, for example, and if you notice, it includes all the templates like Fitness Planner, Budget Tracker, Project Planner, and down the road, you can sell each item individually for probably a lower price to cater to those people who just want these individual planners. Now, before I show you how to design these planners, I wanna share with you on how to market these products, especially if you are starting from zero, because without any traffic, there's really no point to all this. Now, if you're just starting out, there are two ways you can get traffic. Number one, Etsy ads. Number two, organic traffic. So with Etsy ads, I always like to do $5 a day trial for two weeks to see how the market reacts. So from my experience, ad performance will depend on how competitive the niche is and of course, how good the offer is. Now, let's be real. If you are just starting out, you probably won't get a lot of organic traffic. So I would recommend driving external traffic from social media sites like Instagram or Pinterest. And today I wanna to focus on Pinterest because Pinterest is perfect for this type of product. And a lot of people don't realize this, but Pinterest is not a platform where people entertain themselves, but it's rather a search engine where people are actively looking for a solution. That's why it's so effective to promote new products on Pinterest. Your audience is already filtered out. They are already in the right mindset to try new products. Now the next step is to create tons of free content on your social media account and link back to your Etsy store. But there is one problem. You're gonna notice that your Etsy store URL is this super long link that is pretty hard to read. But what if I told you that there's actually a way to convert this into a short branded link? So instead of using this long URL, you can get a short branded link that points directly to your Etsy store. It makes your store name easier to remember and it just increases your product perceived value. For example, this store on Instagram is using a branded link, www.bluehomestore, that auto forwards to their Etsy store. Or this store, Eggy Studio, with a branded link that forwards directly to their Etsy store. So the dot store link that you see here is the branded link. Now, let me give you two big reasons why this is great. You get more traffic and you pay less Etsy fees. Let me explain. So by posting content on social media, you get new traffic to your Etsy store without paying for ads. And according to their studies, by using a branded link like this, you'll get 48% more clicks to your store because customers are more likely to click on a link that looks official and secure rather than one that looks like it could be a phishing scam. And guess what? The more clicks you get, the more sales you get, and that will in turn rank you higher in Etsy, which will bring you even more sales. And the cycle continues. And number two, you're gonna pay less Etsy fees. And who doesn't like that? So Etsy's got this share and save program where if the sale you get is from an outside source like Pinterest, you actually get 4% refunded to your account. So instead of paying the 6.5% for every sale, you'll only be paying 2.5%. And by using a branded link like this, it will automatically qualify you for it. So, so by doing this, you get additional traffic and you keep more of your profits. Now, if you're keen on getting a branded link, you can go to link.store and you can actually claim it here. 
And the best thing is that you can get a branded link and use it for six months completely for free. Now, link.store is a sponsor of this video, but let me tell you why this is a no-brainer for me. For one, it's free to try for six months, which is really generous. And you don't even need to enter your credit card details, so you won't suddenly get billed for it. So you'll really get to assess the performance without having to pay for anything and see if it makes sense for you to continue. And if you decide to continue, it's $6 a month. So I think it's a win-win. So if you'd like to give it a try, I provided the link below and you can click on the claim button here. You can choose Etsy as your marketplace and paste in the long URL of your Etsy store. And you're going to enter your store name right here and check if it's available. Yep, it's good. Select it and enter your email and you're done. Now you can use this branded link on all your social media accounts like your Pinterest profile, Instagram stories, or even in your email marketing campaigns. So if you're interested, click on the link in the description and claim your branded link for free. Now you're probably going to ask me, what if I don't know how to design? I don't know how to use Notion. Well, there are a few ways you can approach this. If you are creating digital planners for iPad or the GoodNotes app, you can actually use Canva to design them. They've got tons of digital planner templates that you can use for inspiration. But please note that I don't recommend taking these templates and selling them as is. But, but these are great if you don't want to start from scratch. Or there's actually such a thing called PLR products, which stands for private label rights. So these are ready-made products and they all come with commercial rights. So you can actually buy them make some customizations and sell them right away. Or you can even go to Etsy now and we've got sellers selling PLR digital planners. But you have to remember, make customizations and make them unique. Now, if you're creating templates for Notion or another note-taking app, obviously you need to know how to use the software. Now, if you're an existing Notion user, you're going to have that unfair advantage. But if you're not, there are still plenty of free tutorials on YouTube that teaches you how to create templates on Notion. But of course, it will still take a little bit of time to learn and build the templates. But like I said before, I've got a small Christmas gift for you. So I'm giving away two ready-made Notion templates for free to help you get started. So the first template is actually a student planner where you can manage your classes, track your exams, take notes. And the second one is a travel planner. So you can plan out your daily schedule, keep your travel documents, and even track your travel expenses. So if you want, you can download these and Use them as inspiration, take it apart, see how I built it, and customize it and start selling. And I just hope that this can be a small push for you to get started. And I provided the link in the description where you can download the templates. And if you'd like to return the favor, all I ask for is for a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate that. But remember, whatever product that you decide on selling, selling a generic product is not going to get you anywhere. If you see sellers making tens of thousands of dollars on Etsy, is because they've put in the hours into making products that the audience wants. So pro tip, read the reviews of existing products. You'll see exactly what people like or wish that this product has. And that's your chance to make improvements and sell on those features. Now, if you treat this like a side hustle, a small project, you're gonna get small side hustle income. But if you treat this as a business, pour out your passion into these products, you're gonna see some real results. So keep in mind that Etsy is a good place to start a business because it's really easy to start. They've got massive traffic, but don't get too comfortable because if you're depending on just one platform, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. Etsy is great, but ultimately they're in control of your business because they own the customer base. But if you want to build a real business, a sustainable business, you have to start collecting emails and own your customer base because your email list is an asset that nobody can take away from you. So if you want to see how powerful an email list can get, I recently made a video on how people are making millions of dollars just by having an email list. So if you want to see that, click on this video next and I'll see you there.